Hello. Do you know the composer? Wonderful composer, very prolific. Uh, Franz Josef Haydn. Well, I'm Professor Brian Garner, and uh, we are here to talk today about what is good writing. What is it? Good writing, the very definition of it, uh, there are two things that go into it. Really good ideas, number one, with really good expression. You must have both really good ideas and really good expression. If you don't have both, the writing is not, is not good. The ideas need to be clear and the language you use needs to be clear. Clarity is the touchstone. A vague, fuzzy idea is going to be expressed in a vague, fuzzy way. A clear, solid idea can be expressed clearly. It's possible to write, by the way, many pages with never a clear idea. People who do that, and people do it all the time, but those people are not writing well, they're writing poorly. To be intelligible, to make yourself understood, to actually get your point across effectively, is the fundamental aim of all serious writing. One thing to understand, I mean, is, uh, is that a, a period of frustration is a normal aspect of the writing process. I mean, you know, frustration normally uh, precedes any accomplishment, even small accomplishments. Normally, there's a period of frustration that precedes anything that could be called an accomplishment. So you need to understand how to work through. You think, well, I've got this great idea. If only I could find a good approach to expressing it clearly. It's just, it's unmanageable. Well, that's normal. But you set your mind working on it and you work through this period of frustration, you'll be able to achieve, and it is a great achievement, you'll be able to achieve clarity. Listen to what Barbara Tuckman, the great historian, said. So this is Tuckman writing in her book, it's called Practicing History. And Tuckman, of course, was a wonderful writer, Barbara Tuckman. Quote, when it comes to language, nothing is more satisfying than to write a good sentence. It is no fun to write lumpishly, dully, in prose the reader must plod through like wet sand but it is a pleasure to achieve, if you can, a clear running prose that is simple yet full of surprises. This does not just happen. It requires skill, hard work, a good ear, and continued practice as much as it takes Heifetz to play the violin. The goals are clarity, interest, and aesthetic pleasure. Barbara Tuckman, writing in 1981. And those words will always be true. If you're a lawyer or a judge, you need CLE, continuing legal education credits. Uh, go to lawpros.org, www.lawpros.org. We have what we think is the finest suite available online for instruction in writing. And uh, remember, remember, fall in love with language. It will always love you back.